Hello everyone, it is release day and so we bought a booster box of course and this time around Wizards of the Coast decided to do something different next to the release promo we also get a buy a box booster which also includes one of these my store just uh, always puts them together don't have to uh, so they don't have to give away the promo separately and forget it for some people so uh, yeah they just uh, included it here so where is the incision for this uh, I don't know doesn't matter let's take a look at the promo burning suns avatar 6-6 six, six for six mana three red and three colorless that's a pretty uh, heavy red uh, when it enters the battlefield, uh, it deals 3 damage to target opponent and 3 to up to 1 target creature. That is awesome. I like it. It's a dinosaur avatar. <laughs> right, so let's open up uh, this pack first. I've never actually opened up one of these or, well, of course this is the first one. Uh, I mean these small packs like the standard showdown packs. I never, never gotten one so what do the odds say let's focus there we go um no oh, there is no uh, there's no odds here all right so uh, yeah I really haven't got a clue I believe there's one foil basic land from um, Rebecca gay uh, one of the release promos and I think two other cards? I really haven't got a clue. Let's find out and see what we get. Well, <laughs> we start off very nice with the Vraska. <laughs> Alright, that is pretty cool. That is very nice. I like it. Vraska, six mana, uh, six loyalty, plus two, create a 2-2 uh, black pirate with menace. Minus three, destroy target artifact, creature, or enchantment. Create a treasure artifact token. That's sex for mana. And minus ten, target player's life total becomes one. This is a very nice card. I love it. I have just one thing to say about this card. Yes, we all know Vraska uh, from Return to Ravnica was black and green. But in this set, the pirates are blue, black, and red. <sighs> So she doesn't fit in my pirate commander deck. That really sucks because she is the pirate queen, of course. Next up, we have oh nice another mythic, Angel of Sanctions from Amonkhet. Uh, for five mana, we get a flying three four. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls until Angel of Sanctions leave the battlefield, and it has embalm for six. Next up, Swarm Intelligence, uh, 7 mana enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Hour of Devastation. Then we have from uh, Kaladesh, Insidious Will. For 4 mana we have an instant, choose one, counter target spell. You may choose new targets for target spell. Or copy target instant or sorcery, you may choose new targets for the spell. Alright. Next up we have a Foil Rare. Ramunap Hydra, nice, uh, which is also from Hour of Devastation, it's uh, 4 mana 3-3, three, three. Vigilance, Reach, Trample, uh, it gets plus 1 plus 1 as long as you control a desert, and it gets plus 1 plus 1 as long as there is a desert in your graveyard. Another foil, we have an uncommon, Thopter Arrest. Uh, which is a 3 mana enchantment, it enters the battlefield, exile target artifact or a creature, an opponent controls until Thopter Arrest leaves the battlefield. Now this is one of the uh, mountains, uh, one of the basic lands, which is from the standard showdown series as you can see here, that's a number 4 of 5, the shooting star symbol here. Uh, these are all from uh, Rebecca Gay and uh, yeah they just look amazing. These are the Commander 16 lands. They have been reprinted in Commander 17. And just just look at it. It's oh, This is so amazing. Oh, we get another one. The Forest. Nice. Just look at it. I love this artist. It's, well, a lot of people do. And it's just beautiful. And of course, the Burning Suns Avatar. 
which I mentioned before. You'll get two of them if you buy it with the buy a box booster. That is a very nice pack. Two mythics, one of which is Vraska and the other is an Angel of Sanctions. And as you might have guessed, these are all standard legal cards. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, I love that. So, now for the big boy. The... Another one. Yeah, let's open up the box and see what we get. What do I want? Uh, well, I already have a Vraska, so a Jace would be nice. Um, the flip cards, um, especially the green one, the blue one. Um, yeah, the other flip cards I already have. And some of the artifacts, that would be nice. All right, let's get the boosters out. There we go. Oh, excellent. I love this set. As I mentioned before, um, I am crazy about pirates, dinosaurs, uh, and the end of the Mesoamerican period with the Spaniards. So this is really, really a set for me. So let's take a look. We'll skip the comments. Uh, we get a Wild Growth Walker, a Glorifier of Dusk, Wanted Scoundrels, and our first mythic, Axis of Mortality, uh, 6 mana enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may have two target players exchange life totals. That is nice. That's a very silly card, actually. Ah, I'll just place it right here. So, right off the bat, we get a mythic. Right, Kite Sail Freebooter, Pillar of Origins, Stormfleet Spy, and we get a Shadowed Caraval. 2 mana, 2-2, two, two, Artifact Vehicle, Cruise for 2. Whenever a, creature's, uh, whenever a creature you control explores, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Shadowed Caraval. Oh, separate pile, and some more land. I really love these treasure tokens, look at that. Aztec Gold. Cursed. It be cursed, yeah. Right. Lightning Strike. Bellowing Aegisaur. Grim Captain's Call. And yes, we have Jace the Cunning Castaway. Look at him. He's just standing there like... Huh. Standing. Looking into the wind. Uh, three mana, three... Loyalty Planeswalker, um, yeah, plus one. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player this turn, draw a card, then discard a card. Minus two, create a 2-2 blue illusion creature token with when this creature becomes the target of a spell, sacrifice it. Minus five, create two tokens that are copies of J's. Except they're not legendary. Whoa. There went the camera. Right, so with a doubling season in play, you can just um, infinitely spam Jaces. That's a bit silly, isn't it? And we have a first foil, which is the Jace Swamp. Fitting for a booster like this. So we already have two Mythics. Huh. Oh. Now here's hoping for a Carnage Tyrant or something. <laughs> then, then it would be all well. Uh, then the set is pretty much complete for me, I guess. Uh, Stormfleet Aerialist, Ranging Raptors, Trove of Temptation, and we have Ashes of the Abhorrent. For two mana and enchantment, players can't cast spells from graveyards or activate abilities of cards in graveyards. Whenever a creature dies, you gain one life. Excellent card for those pesky graveyard recurl decks. Karador, I'm looking at you. I hate Karador decks. Blech. Right. Fiery Cannonade. Dark Nourishment. Marauding Looter. And another Ashes of the Abhorrent. Mm. And I already had two of these, so now I have uh, four. Savage Stomp. Navigator's Ruin. 
a Raptor Hatchling, and we have a Rootbound Crag, reprint from the old uh, M10, M11 sets, the core sets. Uh, yeah, basically if it enters the battlefield, it um, comes to play tapped, unless you control a mountain or a forest, and that's for all the dual, uh, for all the uh, ally colored lands, we have one. So there are five in total. It's never bad to have these guys. Right, Stormfleet Arsonist. Walk the plank. Aye, laddie. Walk the plank, mate. Oh, I love this card, really. I really love this card. I'd almost uh, play this card over a Fatal Push because of the flavor. Look at it, he's walking the plank. Oh. I love it. Snapping Sailback. And we have a Walker of the Wild. Which is a 4 mana 3-3. Three, three, uh, for X and 2 green. Put X plus 1 plus 1 counters on target land you control. That land becomes a 0-0 zero, zero elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. Ugh, this card. I had this one against me and uh, at the pre-release. And in no time I had a couple of lands against me. That were like... Uh, 8-8, eight, 11-11, eight, eleven, eleven. just crazy, and I didn't draw my walk the plank. <sighs> Dead Eye Plunderers, Emissary of Sunrise, Rigging Runner, and we have a Dream Caller Siren, which is a 4 mana, 3-3, three, three, Flash Flying. Uh, Dream Caller Siren can block only creatures with flying, and if it enters the battlefield, if you control another pirate, tap up to 2 target non-land permanence. So I was just uh, thinking, if you have those lands animated and you'll make them walk the plank, what? how would that even look? Just a bag of dirt shoved along the plank and then plop. That's yeah, just a bit silly. Right, uh, Dinosaur Stampede, Seeker Squire. Siren Storm Tamer and Sanguine Sacrament. Uh, for X and two white, uh, you gain twice X life, put Sanguine Sacrament on the bottom of its owner's library. <laughs> this is a fun card. And we have a foil, Gilded Sentinel, the most useless creature in the universe. For four mana, we get a 3 3 artifact that doesn't do anything. <sighs> nice. Didn't have that one yet. Oh, but I'm already very happy with the box. I mean, I got a Jace. Yay. Chart a course. Field of Ruin. Bright Reprisal. And we get the Conqueror's Galleon. Nice, nice, nice. I didn't have this one yet. Uh, so it's also an, uh, an artifact vehicle. For 4 mana, we get a 2 10. It cruise for 4. And when it attacks, exile it at the end of combat, then return it to the battlefield transformed under your control. And if it transforms, it becomes a fortress. The Conqueror's Foothold. Which basically either taps for mana, or you pay 2, draw a card and discard a card. Or 4, four mana, tap, draw a card. Or 6 mana, tap, return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. So basically they are out plundering for the first time and then they're like well okay let's just settle here i like it i really i really love this set oh the flavor of this set man i just love it love 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 right atsukan archer shapers of nature makeshift munitions and revel in riches Awesome cards. This is my. This is going to be one of the win conditions for my uh, pirate commander deck. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, create a treasure artifact token that sacrifices for mana. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control ten or more treasures, you win the game. It's just simple as that. Well, well, well. I just love that. That's very fun. Right, Lurking Chupacabra, Belligerent Brontodon, Favorable Winds, and we have a Hostage Taker. Nice, uh, this card is just crazy. Uh, there's already been an Errata on this card, even before the card came out. Um, let's just read the text as it is. 
For 4 mana, we get a 2-3. When Hostage Shaker enters the battlefield, exile targets artifacts or creature until uh, Hostage Shaker leaves the battlefield. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled. And you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast that spell. Now then, the errata here is that it can uh, exile targets, artifacts or other creature. So not itself. It, the text says it can exile itself, but it cannot. They fixed that. Right, one third on our way. We have Adanto Vanguard, Atsukan Archer, Siren Storm Tamer, and we have another one of these lands, the Sun Petal Grove. Uh, yeah, which is the uh, Forest and uh, Plains version. Charging Monstrosaur, Emergent Growth, Stadfast Armosaur, and we have Fleet Swallower. <laughs> this is actually quite a fun card. Um, sweet f uh, f Fleet Swallower, uh, 7 mana 6-6. Six, six. Uh, when it attacks, target player puts the top half of his or her library rounded up into his or her graveyard. Attacks, it doesn't even have to do damage. It uh, reminded me of uh, Haunting, uh, no wait, of um, Traumatize. Uh, it's unfortunate that uh, Haunting Echoes isn't modern legal, or else I'd known what I would have played. Dead Eye Quartermaster. Needed this one for my deck. Raging Swordtooth, uh, Pillar of Origins, and we have a Herald of Secret Streams. For 4 mana we get a 2-3. Creatures you control with plus 1 plus 1 counters on them can't be blocked. Another foil, New Horizons. Nice. So we are still at only two Mythics. Imperial Aerosaur, a Lookout's Dispersal, Imperial Lancer, and we have ah, one of the flip cards, Primal Amulet. Four mana, we get an artifact, instant and sorcery spells you cast, cost one less to cast. Uh, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a charge counter on primal amulet, then if there are four or more charge counters on it, you may remove those counters and transform it. And then we get a primal wellspring, which taps uh, to add one mana of any color to your mana pool. When it's cast to, uh, uh, to cast an instant or sorcery, you can copy it and make new targets for the copy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And we have another foil. Oh, this is our foil rare. We have a Ruin Tra... Uh, uh, oh, not a trader. Ruin Raider. For three mana, we get a 3-2 with Raid. At the beginning of your end step, if you attack with a creature this turn, reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand. You lose life equal to the card's converted mana cost. Vine Shaper Mystic, Sheltering Lights, Bonded Horn Crest, and we have a Goring Ceratops. I like this card. Look at its feathery, colorful feathery. Yeah, what should we call it? Uh, 7 mana 3-3, three, three, double strike. Uh, when it attacks, other creatures you control gain double strike until end of turn. It's just rare as well. Where is my uh, my mythic dinosaur? Elaborate fire cannon, a deep root waters, stormfleet spy, and we have a dead eye tracker, which is for one mana we get a pirate that's a one one. For two mana, you tap it and exile two cards from an opponent's graveyard, and it explores. Ah, I believe this is the first pirate that I see with explore. All right, so the ship does have uh, its benefits for a pirate deck, if you have that guy. Dark Nourishment, Merfolk Branch Walker, Heartless Pillage, and we have another Walker of the Wilds. All right, We're getting spares now.
Perilous Voyage. Slice in Twain. Duskborn Sky Marcher, and we have Ripjaw Raptor. Nice, I li I love this card. For four mana, we get a four five with Enrage. When it is dealt damage, draw a card. This is a very cool card. I love it. And we have a foil makeshift munitions. Sleek Schooner, Otepec Huntmaster, Sentinel Totem, and we have a Fell Flagship, which is the Pirate Ship. Uh, pirates you control get plus one plus zero, and when it deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. It crews for three. That's our rare. So, we're um, almost two thirds on the way. We still only have two mythics, so yeah, who knows? Bellowing Aegisaur, Tempest Caller, Grim Captain's Call, and we have Bishop of Rebirth. For five mana, we get a three four Vigilance. Uh, when it attacks, you may return target creature card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. And we have another foil, the Desperate Castaways, which can only attack if they have artifacts or something. There, they are no brawlers. Savage Stomp, Charter Course, Lightning Rig Crew, and we have Un Ungrats Marauders. For 7 mana we get a 4-4 Pirate. Um, if a source you control uh, would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead. Nice, just a Furnace of Wrath on a stick. Unclaimed Territory, Field of Ruin, Snapping Silback, and... Oh, nice! Huatli! Oh, yeah, of course, we have a Huatli in the set as well. Nice, so now I have all the planeswalkers. Sweet. So, Watley, the warrior poet. For five mana we get a three loyalty planeswalker with plus two. You gain life equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. For zero it creates a three three dinosaur with trample and for minus X it deals X damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures. Creatures that uh, dealt damage this way can't block this turn. Oh, nice. So that's a third mythic for the box. And now we're going to the last part of the box. The final third of the box. Sheltering Light, Call to the Feast, Steadfast Armasaur, and a treasure map. Yar! Yeah. Oh my god, this card. I really love this card. When I first saw this, I was just like, yes. Black Flag. It just reminded me of Black Flag. Uh, for two mana we get an artifact. Uh, for one you can scry one. Put a landmark counter on treasure map. Um, then if there are three or more landmark counters on it, remove those counters, transform it, and create three treasure tokens. That all sacrifice for mana. And when you flip it, it's just a typical view of a Black Flag. That's why I was uh, reminded to that. Just look at it. Oh, it looks so cozy. I want to live there on that island with those treasure chests. So we get a treasure cove. It taps either for uh, colorless or if you sack a treasure, draw a card. I love that. All right, River Sneak, Raptor Hatchling, Sky Terror, and we have. Mavren Fane, the Dusk Apostle, uh, which is 3 mana 2 2, a legendary creature. Whenever one or more non token vampires you control attack, create a 1 1 white vampire creature token with a live link. Sweet. Opt. Nice card. Already uh, the most popular card in the whole set. 
by judge, uh, judging by the uh, sales records for the set in Europe. All right, Dinosaur Stampede, Ixalan's Binding, uh, Rallying Roar, and we have Sword Point Diplomacy. Three mana, reveal the top three cards of your library for each of those cards. Put that card into your hand unless any opponent pays three life. Then exile the rest. So, yeah, probably not so effective in multiplayer, but still. It's an easy way to get uh, people to either lose life or you draw something. Ruthless Knave. Wily Goblin. And Pillar of Origins. And we get a Daring Saboteur. Ah, yes, I needed this one as well. Uh, two mana, two, one. For three, it can't be blocked this turn. And when it deals combat damage, you may draw a card. And if you do, discard a card. Very cool. So, I'm uh, actually pretty happy with this box so far. And also the awesome buy a box, uh, buy a box booster. The Dead Eye Plunderers. Lightning Strike, Inspiring Cleric, and we have Spell Swindle. Sweet. For 5 mana, counter target spell, create X colorless treasure artifact tokens where X is that spell's converted mana cost. And those treasures can be sacrificed for mana. I love this card. I really, I really do. In combination with the Rebel and Riches. Lurking Chupacabra, Raider's Wake, Thundering Spineback, and we have uh, Tocatli Honor Guard. Creatures entering the battlefield don't cause abilities to trigger. Very nasty card. And we're almost, uh, almost done. Six boosters left, including this one. Drover of the Mighty, Sheltering Light, Rigging Runner, and we have a Sanctum Seeker, which is a 4 mana 3 4. Whenever a vampire you control attacks, each player loses one life and you gain one life. And we have a foil, the Sailor of Means. Well, we have um, three Mythic so far. We haven't seen the green flip card, which I really, 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 really want. And the Carnage Tyrant. Oh, if I pull that one, this box is going to be insane. Another walk the plank. Yar. Marauding looter. And dire fleet captain. And we have settle the wreckage. For four mana, exile all attacking creatures target player controls. That player may search his or her library for that many basic land cards. Put those cards onto the battlefield and then shuffle his or her library. Four boosters left. Another opt. Never have enough opts. Fiery Cannonade. Raging Sword Tooth. Uh, Wanted Scoundrels. And we have a River's Rebuke. For six mana sorcery, return all non land permanents uh, target player controls to their owner's hand. Three boosters left. Kite Seal Freebooter. Imperial Lancer and Bonded Horncrest and we have a Thaumatic Compass which is also a flip card. Let me just put these cards aside. So we have a 2 mana artifact for 3 you can search your library for basic land cards, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. At the beginning of your end step if you control 7 or more lands transform it and it transforms into Spires of Horaska which taps either for mana or it has a Maze of Ith effect uh, untap target attacking creature and opponent controls and remove it from combat. Sweet. Except that this card can actually produce mana and Maze of Ith can not. Two boosters left. How many mythics are there supposed to be in a box? Like about four or five, right? Hmm. Come on, a speaker. Glorifier of Dusk. Lookout's Dispersal and Arguel's Bloodfast. Also a flip card. Let me get these aside. 
Uh, right, it's a two mana enchantment, legendary enchantment. For two mana, pay two life, draw a card. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have five or less life, you may transform Argyle's blood fast. Blood fast. And it transforms into Temple of Aklazot. Tap either for black or sacrifice a creature. You gain life equal to the sacrifice creature's toughness. Nice. Final pack. My lucky raptor. Stormfleet Aerialist. Duskborn Sky Marcher. Vicious Conquistador and a ah, mythic, nice Boneyard Parley. Oh, I was already afraid that we would have three mythics. Not that they are bad, they are excellent, but still, this is nice as well. Sorcery, exile up to five target creatures, uh, creature cards from graveyards. An opponent separates those piles, uh, those cards into two piles. Oh, can't even read anymore. Uh, put all cards from the pile of your choice onto the battlefield under your control and the rest into their owner's graveyard. No foils. That's it. Right. How many foils did we actually get? Six. One uncommon, one rare, one basic land, four commons. Uh, the mythics. We have the Boneyard Parley, Watley, Jace, and Excess of Mortality. I'm very, very happy I pulled these two. Really. I really am very happy. So, and a, and a bunch of rares. Of which... One... Two... Three... Four... Five... Are... Double-sided. Nice. So, all in all, a very good box. I'm very, very happy with this box. I love the set. Let me let me know what you guys think of the set. Um, what has potential in standard, modern, except for the green thing, the green card. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.